Well, hi, if you want to learn more about the serve and volley and specifically the split step that happens that happens after the serve and right before the volley or the half volley, then watch this short video all the way to the end because I've got something very cool I want to show you. Brent Abel here, webtennis.com, and after having won 10 national USA age group titles in both singles and doubles, and a 45-year coaching career, let's see what actually works. So the most important part of the split step is coming into it on balance. If you're falling forward, if your upper body is a little bit ahead of your feet, you know what happens is you end up not being able to react to a ball on your right or to a ball on your left because you're actually falling forward through your split step. And I'm not saying that you want to come into a complete dead stop, but there is a little forward momentum carrying you forward through that split step, but you got to be on balance. You got to be on, uh, on balance, like I said, and have great posture because you're going to have to choose whether it's going to be a volley or it's going to be a half volley. And the way we make the choice on that is asking yourself, well, what's the question? Is it a volley or is it a half volley? Well, the answer is always, which shot can you play on balance? Which shot can you play with perfect posture? So what I want you thinking about here, as you, as you come out of the serve, is that you're initially out of the serve, you're, you're in perfect balance right here, and then you're coming into your split step, which is this athletic step, got your knees bent, and you're, the, the purpose is, I wanna to react to my right, I wanna react to my left, depending on where the, where the return goes, or I might wanna to have to react by getting out of the way of the ball, right? It's basically those three choices that the split step helps you efficiently make. Ball to your right, ball to your left, or the ball right at you. And if you think about when you play serve and volley, you're moving in, right? You're moving inside the court, so you're cutting down the angles that that opponent has, as opposed to if you were staying back here in the baseline. So think about the split step, not as part of the serve, because too often what happens is players serve and they're falling into trying to get into that, that split step too soon. You've got time to come out of your serve efficiently, so you play a high quality serve, and then you come in with a split in here so that you're ready to move to your right, to your left, or if you have to, get out of the way of that incoming return. Well, all right, thank you for watching this short video all the way to the end. And if you wanna do a really deep dive on your top spin serve, what I've got for you is a free course, my Top Spin Second Serve course. It's free, but it is private. The way you can get access to it, right down below in the description area, click that link and you'll get immediate access to my Top Spin Serve course.